வணக்கம் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த மீடியா அண்ட் பிரின்சிபல் பார்ட் த்ரீ ஓகே ஓகே வெல்கம் வில் கோ இன் டு தட் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் ஃபினைல் எத்தில் ஆல்கஹால் அகர் அண்ட் சுடமோனஸ் ஐசோலேஷன் அகர் சால்வனல்லா சிஜல் அகர் டெலோரேட் லைசின் அகர் டிசிபிஎஸ் அகர் அண்ட் ஒன் மோர் திங் இஸ் ஜைலோஸ் லைசின் டிஆக்சிகோலேட் அகர் ஓகே ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் ஃபினைல் எத்தில் அகர் <laughs> it is used to isolate the staphylococcus and streptococcus from mixture of cultures so it only permits the growth of gram positive organism see in this one we can add the uh, fibrinated blood so these two one first one is the brain got infusion agar and another one is the phenyl ethyl alcohol agar so in brain got infusion agar uh, the four organisms are treated the first one is staphylococcus aureus e coli and enterococcus and klebsiella see compared to this the same organisms are strict so the first one is staphylococcus aureus and then e coli enterococcus klebsiella there is no growth was observed on the e coli and klebsiella in the phenyl ethyl alcohol agar so composition so pancreatic digest of casein okay it's also a protein source and papillary digest of the soya bean meal uh, nitrogen carbon and vitamins some and minerals so absorbed from this and sodium chloride it is uh, used to do for the osmotic balance and phenyl beta phenyl ethyl alcohol it is mainly involved in the inhibition role of gram negative organisms particularly by interfering with the dna synthesis process of gram negative organism so sterile defibrinated sheep blood okay it is optional one can add it means it can permits the growth of gram positive anaerobic organism and agar and ph is 7.5 plus or minus 2 at 25 degree celsius next one pseudomonas isolation agar so it is a selective and differential medium from the name itself it was i understood that it is mainly used to for the isolation of pseudomonas organism see in this pseudomonas isolation agar there are two types of pseudomonas species are strict so first one oh wait i'll take the laser pointer oh, first one uh, it is the pseudomonas aeruginosa and another one is pseudomonas fluorescens in pseudomonas aeruginosa it was green color because it can produce the pigment phycyanin so and then the composition so uh, peptic digest of gelatin and it is mainly for the source of carbon nitrogen and essential nutrients and potassium sulfate is a sulfate source and magnesium chloride ions and these two are involved in the enhancement of the phycyanin production and irrigation this is the main one which is involved in the inhibition of gram positive and gram negative organisms other than the pseudomonas so irrigation irrigation is main thing in pseudomonas isolation agar and glycerol and then agar ph ஆர்கானிசம் the first one is salmonella typhimurium and another one is sigella flexionary in this the black scented colonies right we have observed the black scented colonies i have explained the reason later so these are the salmonella species in this the four different types of organisms are strict the first one is e coli and another one is sigella flexionary and salmonella typhimurium and enterococcus faecalis c e coli Uh, normally it can and ferment the lactose so it is in the different color and this one is sigella flexinary and the black color colonies are formed by the salmonella typhimurium enterococcus faecalis cannot grow in this ss agar 
and the main um, compositions are lactose it is the carbohydrate source and bile salts sodium citrate and brilliant green these are involved in the incubation of gram positive and coliforms organisms that's why the presence of these one the enterococcus fecalis cannot uh, grow in this ssr and sodium thiosulfate sulfate source beef extract nitrogen and vitamin source and then proteus peptone Uh, ferric citrate and ferric citrate is mainly for the detection of the hydrogen sulfide and after that hydrogen sulfide production and um, which is uh, um, in combines with this hydrogen sulfide and produce the black scented colonies that's why the salmonella organisms seems to be in the black color a neutral red ph indicators and agar and ph which is 7.5 plus or minus 0.2 or 25 degree celsius and tellurate glycine glaze, here it is an undefined selective and differential medium it is mainly for the isolation of the coagulase positive staphylococcus there are two types of staphylococcus are there coagulase positive and then coagulase negative staphylococcus coagulase positive one is mainly staphylococcus aureus see in this picture there are three types of organisms or streak the first one is the staphylococcus epidermidis this is the coagulase negative and this one is staphylococcus aureus this is the coagulase positive and then gram negative organism e coli e coli cannot grow in this and see the coagulase positive it produce the um, it can grow very well and form the color of the black and tellurate lies in her composition case in enzyme hydrolase nitrogen source and the vitamin b complex and then yeast extract mannitol and nitol is a fermentable carbohydrate and dipotassium phosphate lithium chloride lithium chloride is involved in main role is to inhibit the coagulase negative staphylococci and then glycine agar and pH is 7.2 plus or minus 0.2 at 25 degree Celsius. Okay, in this after preparation, preparing this medium and after the sterilization, and we have to add the 1 percent potassium tellurate uh, to this medium after the completion of sterilization. So main role of this is it is uh, act as a differential agent mainly it uh, coagulase positive staphylococci. um allows the staphylococci to utilize this tellurite and reduce that and forms the black color colonies in this okay this is the role of potassium tellurite but it is a toxic com component have to handle in a very careful manner in a lab and thiosulfate citrate bile sucrose ahar this is the tcbs ahar it's an undefined selective and differential medium it is mainly for the isolation of vibrio species if you uh, think about the vibrio species the first medium you have to think in your mind is tcbs ahar in this tcbs ahar see there are two types of colonies the vibrio colorae and enterococcus fecalis vibrio colorae it produce the very large colonies large yellow colonies compared to that of the enterococcus fecalis see this is the vibrio colorae very large yellow color colonies are formed by this in this medium so the compositions are sucrose it's a fermentable carbohydrate and dipeptone sodium citrate sodium thiosulfate so this act as an electron acceptor for sulfate reducers and sodium chloride is mainly for maintenance of the osmotic balance and yeast extract is also a nitrogen source and ox ox bile ox gall and sodium chloride it inhibit the gram positive bacteria and ferric citrate it is uh, for the detection of the sulfur reduction and mainly for organism can reduce the thiosulfide and produce the h2s and which combines with the ferric ions and produce the black color colonies okay if uh, any of the organisms can have this ability it was detected by means of this ferric citrate component present in this medium and promothymol blue and thymol blue is an ph indicators and agar and ph 8.6 plus or minus 0.2 at 25 degrees celsius next one xylose lysin deoxycholate agar so it's a first one it's a selective and differential medium it was used to for the isolation and identification of the sigella and providencia see 
in this uh, three organisms are strict. The first one is the Proteus. It is black because of the sulfur reduction and the Salmonella typhimurium. Um, and uh, this one is the Escherichia coli. So uh, Escherichia coli it uh, reduces the uh, lactose. It can ferment the lactose. So it is in this color. And Proteus mirabilis it can uh, reduce the sulfur. So it is in the black color. And the compositions are lactose, sucrose, thio sodium thiosulfate, and lysin. Lysin is main main role of the lysin is the decarboxylation process and sodium chloride for osmotic balance. Xylose is the fermentable carbohydrate, and yeast extract. It is um, for the yeast extract for the nitrogen source and sodium desoxycholate and very common in citrate. Uh, it is an indicator of the presence of uh, hydrogen sulfide and phenol red is an indicator, pH indicator and agar and pH 7.4 plus or minus 0 0.2 at 25 degrees Celsius. So coming to the reference, uh, these all photographs and informations I have taken from that, the same book, Photography Atlas for the Microbiology Laboratory 4th edition, Michael J. Lefe, Botan E. Pierce and uh, some of the questions I have given for you to think first one is what is the role of bile salts in the medium and find out the role of iragasin in pseudomonas isolation ahead and how to differentiate the lactose fermenting and non-fermenting organisms in the medium which component in the medium is indicate the presence of uh, h2s and uh, finally can you formulate the new medium of your own okay if you are very well versed about what is the carbon source what is the nitrogen source which organisms we have to isolate and which one we have to choose and we have to suppress the other organisms means what are the ingredients we have to add by means of all these knowledges you can gain more information about this uh, medium and you can formulate of our of your own and you can isolate the new species and if you have any doubts regarding this okay mail me and this is my mail ID shivasan91 at gmail.com. Thank you.